Hello everyone. Welcome to Logical Solutions Online Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see the Salonox Motion Manager and several key features in user interface. Firstly, what is Salonox Motion Manager? Motion Manager as interface used for creating most animations or motion studies. Take a glance at the interface of Motion Manager. It is developed to have standard interface for motion studies by merging the SOLIDWORKS, Animator and Cosmos Motion. Motion Manager is fully integrated into SOLIDWORKS to create animation and motion studies using the three motion studies types. It consolidates physical simulation, animation, motion and dynamic assembly motion. This is a key point based user interface used for defining or creating, editing and saving animations. The lower position of the graphical interface of SOLIDWORKS has tab like Model tab and Motion Study tab. Model tab is used for changing to the models when activate in the other tabs. Motion Manager allows us to create multiple tabs other than available like Simulation and Design Study for different studies. Motion Manager interface appears or can be activated when a Motion Study tab is selected or activated. Just select the tab present in the lower position of motion study tab As said earlier, Motion Manager interface has several key features for creating animation and motion studies. Those key features are motion study type, motion manager toolbar, timeline and time bar, key points, tool tips, key frame and change bars. Let us see motion study in motion manager. The three motion study types available in motion manager can be selected from this motion. Pull down selection. The three motion study types are animation, basic motion, motion analysis. This is how we can select the motion study type from this interface by just selecting the drop down and selecting the required motion study. Next, motion manager toolbar. This toolbar consists of tools used for motion studies like motor, sprint, contact, and gravity. Animation wizard is used for converting exploded views and physics based simulation to keyframe animation can also be selected from this toolbar. Motion manager properties can also be accessed. The motion manager can also output to AVA for a series of images from this toolbar. Let us see where these features are located in the motion manager interface. Like motors, springs and other. The animation wizard is located here. The output can be converted using these options. Motion Manager Design Tree Motion Manager Design Tree includes orientation camera, view settings, slides, cameras, scene folders, simulation elements. We add to motion study like motors, forces, springs and all the components in the model design tree. The changes made to the design from the motion manager design tree can only be limited to the motion study we are doing which help in modifying our motion as required. The original model will be affected with those changes. Have a look at this. Design tree of motion manager, this is orientation and camera view settings, lights, camera, scene folders, the motor added to this study and set changes done to this model in the motion study do not get reflected in the actual model. Next, Timeline and Time Bar. The Timeline is temporal interface used to display and control the sequence of events in an animation. Multiple symbols are used to represent these events at specific time intervals. The yellow highlighted indicates the portion that is calculated. The Time Bar is the vertical line in the Timeline. This can be dragged to display the animation at any point in time. There is a slide present which also moves the Time Bar by dragging the slider. The timeline display can be expanded or compressed to using the tools at the right most corner in the interface. Check out this. The timeline is displayed with the time where the yellow region highlights the time region calculated 
and this is the time bar which can be moved. This is the slider which can also be used to move the time bar. Using these zooms and zoom out, we can change the display of timeline. Next, key points. Key points are used to control characteristic of component or view at specific point. The color of the key points vary and have specific meanings. As shown, the different color key points have different meanings, which will be explained in detail in coming tutorial of animation. Next, tooltips. The tooltips can be assessed by floating the cursor over any key point in the timeline. This displays the current properties of the key point. The properties include components name, move, component display, explorable, appearance, transparency, and component display at the key point. There are the key points used to control the animation. We can observe various key points with different colors as it. When you have, however, your mouse on key point, we will get two tips on display properties side earlier. Next, keyframe and change bar. Keyframe appears as the connecting strings of key points. The line that is connected to key points or line between key points is called change bar. The colors of the change bar varies differently as specific meanings to each bar as well. This will be discussed in other tutorials on animation. This is called the keyframe. As you can see, the key points are connected by a bar called a change bar. You can also see the various changes bars in the example. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe to our channel for more updates on Sonnetverse. For further queries, please contact www.logicalsolutions.in.